the University of Tübingen is a very traditional one. It was founded 1477 and one of the four, four faculties at that time, it was the Faculty of Medicine. And the University Hospital itself was founded uh, more than 200 years ago. And we have had very famous uh, doctors here, including, for instance, Dr. Alzheimer. He was responsible for the psychiatric uh, clinic. Szpital Uniwersytecki w Tübingen jako pierwszy w Europie zainstalował nowoczesną salę operacyjną IMRIS. System oferuje w pełni zintegrowane środowisko pozwalające neurochirurgowi uzyskać obraz mózgu w dowolnym momencie. The IMRIS incorporation has been founded in the year 2005. And then within Europe, and we're running the business within Europe out of Germany for entire Europe, but also the Middle East. Uh, there we started our operations in the year 2009. On a worldwide scale, we are talking about approximately 60 uh, installed physiosurgical theater systems. And um, out of those 60, we have in total 76 operating rooms. Concerning Europe, um, as of today, it's approximately 400 operations or surgeries that has been done and performed within a physiosurgical theater. The IMRIS system is not more expensive than other uh, interop MRI systems. No other machine will give you that quality and the possibility of studying the, the function of the brain. So such a system in a total, it costs about uh, 5 million euro. If we consider that this is for the human being, it's absolutely worth it to have that. I'm working in this clinic since five years now and we're using the IMRIS system since 2011. In this time we have uh, treated more than 300 patients with a system where there is an indication to use the interoperative MRI. There are different uh, MRI systems. There are low field magnets with a field strength below 0.15 Tesla. These machines are much cheaper than the, the big ones with the high field uh, magnets inside but on the other hand you have less image quality. So therefore there's one major difference in these two big systems, low field and high field. If you just look at the high field systems, which are usually 1.5 Tesla like our machine is, but by now, by today, they also go up all the way to three Tesla machines. There's two major differences. There's machines where the magnet is fixed in a fixed position and the patient has to be moved to the magnet. And there's the other system like the IMRIS system where the magnet is mounted on rails on the ceiling and you can move the magnet, which is 7.5 tons heavy, into the room very slowly over the patient and you can do the MRI then. Guzy mózgu wyglądają bardzo podobnie do zdrowych tkanek. Dzięki zastosowaniu mobilnego rezonansu magnetycznego łatwiej jest je rozróżnić. Taki system daje o 50% lepsze wyniki w całkowitej resekcji zmian patologicznych szczególnie glejaków. Gdy nie ma pewności, że guz jest całkowicie usunięty, można wykonać kolejny skan mózgu bez konieczności przerywania zabiegu. We can just press a button and the MRI is moving to the patient. We don't need to stop our activities to move the patient to the MRI. Najczęściej operowane guzy to glejaki i guzy przysadki. Znaczna część operacji to zabiegi z zakresu chirurgii dziecięcej. Jak wygląda i ile trwa przygotowanie do operacji? When they call me uh, to uh, start with the imaging procedure, it takes about 15 minutes to prepare the operating room for the intraoperative MR imaging testing. Think about moving all the metal objects out of the magnetic field zone and so on. Then the imaging itself takes as a basis of about 15 minutes. That means we acquire high quality T1 and T2 imaging sequences and we inject gadolinium in order to get the contrast that we like in order to um, detect any remnant in the tumor bed. What you can see here on the, on the ground is there's two zones. There's a dark blue zone, a light blue zone and a grayish zone. These lines are very important for us 
as they show us, when the magnet is moved into his scanning position, is all the way moved all the way to here over the patient, and then we know that there is the 50 Gauss line and the 5 Gauss line. And the 5 Gauss line is very important to us because this is the field where we know that all ferromagnetic uh, instruments and tables are safe outside the line. If you would move ferromagnetic instruments or tables inside this line, there is a high danger that they will be sucked in by the magnetic field of the scanner. So if you listen to the sound in the background here, you can hear some repetitive noise. This is the helium pump of the magnet. Every MR scanner has one of these helium pumps. It's needed for cooling of the magnet, otherwise it would heat up too quick. Usually the noise is produced by the machine is um, a little bit disturbing. And uh, with the Imre system, the machine is um, completely uh, behind the garage and uh, it will not disturb our activities. As you can see here, this is the OR table, which is MR compatible. It's a special tool. We have this MR compatible head holder where we can fix the patient's head while we do the surgery. We also have uh, systems integrated for neuro navigation, so we can use all standard neuro navigational systems here. If you look to the sides, we have many screens in the room, which are all touch screens, and we have an integrated media system here. We can put any media signal into the system and a big advantage of the system is that we can also do some recording in HD quality so we have a very good documentation of all surgeries. Uh, we need coils for imaging which is uh, just absolutely necessary for any MR imaging and we have the big advantage here that we have this flexible new system and as you can see you can move them and um, the advantage here is they are very light and you can just place them on the head of the patient while you do intraoperative MR imaging and therefore you have many possibilities um, to do these images. A specialty of these coils that you can move them pretty far underneath the patients. The reason for this is because they are soft, usually they are rigid. And because you can move them underneath the patient, we even have the capability to perform MR imaging in these patients up to the upper thoracal spine and not just the head of the patient. show to you the case of this 30-year-old uh, man uh, with a benign tumor of the brain. This is a low-grade glioma of the frontal area and as you can see here this tumor is invading the deep areas of the brain and achieving the motor area. There was a, a, a risk for this patient if we are removing the tumor uh, to produce a, a neurological deficits, motor deficits. So, the goal of the surgery was trying to remove the tumor completely without any single piece left behind and on the other side to preserve the motor function of this patient. And there is no other way to achieve uh, high quality pictures to make sure that the tumor is completely removed although we perform um, pictures during surgery. And uh, as you can see here, we can perform even functional MRI pictures, the spectroscopy of the tumor. We can perform also um, fiber tracking, DTI pictures, and, and associate these pictures with our navigation system. I want to show to you uh, now uh, the first picture we have achieved during surgery when we believed we had removed the tumor completely and actually we want to close the wound but we perform a picture and then we detected uh, unfortunately some uh, piece of tumor we had left behind. We as Imris uh, feel very proud and, and we're really happy to have that installation here uh, at the University Hospital of Tübingen. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Um, I think for most, um, first and foremost, really because the University of Tübingen, they have a very strong neurosurgery department with a very strong neurosurgical um, program with a lot of research. And also, if you look at the publications that have been produced during the year, well, starting at the year 2011 up till now, end of 2014, you can see that they're doing a lot 
of clinical research. Apart from that, of course, they're doing a lot of patient treatments. By now, there are over 300 patients um, that they have treated so far.